Now, our next guests are about to join forces to take on the roles of iconic super sleuth Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson on the West End stage. Well, one rose to fame after his role as smooth-talking cad, Paul Ryman, in 80s sitcom Ever Decreasing Circles, and the other for his portrayal of pompous cricket captain Roger Dervish in Outside Edge. Let's take a look at them in action. If I may have your attention for just one moment... Emergency, emergency. Cheers. Just a minute. What do you think you're doing? Football. You're so full of sauce you ought to be called HP. Where was I? And you're silly. <laughs> Organise. Organise. What's going on then, Martin? If you must know, I'm having them for tea. That's cannibalism. Oh, no, no, no. In my book, there are ways to go and ways to go. Would it help if I walked out backwards? <laughs> Relax and enjoy. enjoy. Great. Great. Oh, this is a series. <laughs> so, Peter Egan Robert Dawes uh, join us now. And it's funny, you've got these two very successful careers running in parallel, but you've never actually met. No, we met for the first time half an hour ago, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, when we, when we explain what it is that you're about to do, I mean, I'm beginning to, I mean, excuse me, but I'm feeling a little nervous. <laughs> join the club. <laughs> So, so this is uh, this is the secret of, uh, of Sherlock Holmes. It's at the Duchess Theatre, and you're there for eight weeks from the 20th of July. Now, Peter, you have been on tour. That's with right. This yeah. Production. Yeah. This is a two-man show. It's a two-hand. Yeah. We were doing it with Philip Franks. Um, he's an actor director. He is now directing a play and is unfortunately not available to do it. But very fortunately, Robert is available to do it. So we met half an hour ago and we start rehearsing in about an hour. And you've only got two weeks until the actual... We have up. our first performance uh, two weeks tomorrow. Two weeks in oh, a day. Okay. Yeah. So obviously this is okay for you because it's the same script. You've been yes, doing this yeah. for a long time, whereas yeah. you... Did you only find out about this on Friday? Uh, yeah, I found out about it on Friday, and but I've had the huge luxury. I've been able to read the play twice. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm not overly concerned. <laughs> oh, well. Luckily, I'm with, with, with Peter, yeah. and uh, you know, and, and Peter knows it, and 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 so I'm feeling in very very safe hands. How, how, how quick are you at learning learning your lines? Um, uh, I'm going to have to be very quick. <laughs> not bad. I, I learn very quickly, uh, and I forget just as quickly. I'm afraid. <laughs> And well, people may find out. The relationship between Sherlock Holmes and Watson is such an important one as well. It so is, yes. I mean, that's something. I guess over the next two weeks, as much as the lines is something that's going to yeah. be critical yeah. to. But I think as part of our job is about making relationships, and actors tend to make relationships very fast mm -hmm. anyway. And um, and I know I know his work very well, so I feel like I know him anyway. So yeah. uh, you know, vice versa. So so what's your, how is your Sherlock? What's he what's he like? Have Brilliant. You, yeah. Yes, it solves all the problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it, I think it's it, it, it quite dry and a, a bit of, um, a, 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 of presence and, um, and some humour as well. Uh, this play is nice because it deals very much with the relationship between Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, and it's, a lot of it is about their relationship as well as, you know, why certain things happen. Mm -hmm. So you learn an awful lot. Uh, it's actually one, rather wonderful for Watson because he is not... Um, uh, written as a kind of buffoon, as he's often played um, by like, Nigel Bruce, you know, and, and Basil Rathbone. Um, he, he, he's a much more human, uh, more of a mensch, really, and it's, uh, it's a wonderful part for him. Well, it, yes, it, it, it explores a relationship. It's not just the cases that, that Holmes solves. It, it deals with the actual relation, the marriage, as it yes. were. When I yeah. read the play on Friday, I said, this is sort of the detective genre's version of, of Morecambe and White. This is the comedy <laughs> version. I mean, they don't actually sit, uh, have sleep in the same bed, yeah. but they are very, very close. <laughs> well, and, and the play shows, <laughs> the play shows <laughs> that, in actual fact, one There's can't time. do without the other. <laughs> so it's a true marriage. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating. Yes, it yeah. is. It's, it's, it is very funny, from, and it's also very touching as well. It's uh, got a lot of uh, lot of good stuff going for it. And having it's a two-hander throughout the whole thing, so it's just you two in the cast. Yes. yes. So yeah. all yeah. the pressure lies lies yes. on you. Running oh. around, I've, I've seen a model of the set. Uh, which it looks absolutely extraordinary, and uh, I, I believe that we don't stop. I mean, although yes. there's only two of us, we're charging around, and and the play is f filled with lots of other characters, which hopefully will be just as vivid to the absolutely. audience. They'll be able to see them, although not necessarily physically. Mm. They're conjured up in in lots of other magical, mysterious they are. ways. And we also do have Moriarty, who appears as well. Oh, who really? Is, um, 
Holmes, Holmes' nemesis, so he appears through the smoke at certain times. And, uh, it sounds fantastic. Yes. It's, it it is does. really good. It's very interesting. I love it's it. Always, yeah, always fascinating. Well, it, uh, reinvigorated by the movie, of course. Yeah. So, so yes. it's very current at the That's moment. the younger version. Yeah. yeah. My yes. Watson will be a little different to Jude's. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> uh, mine, mine will be a bit older than Robert Downey's. <laughs> Well, we thought that seeing as um, as you hadn't met before and uh, and you are um, you know sort of very new to each other, mm. we've got a little quiz for you. Oh, lovely! Uh -huh. So we uh, we wanted <laughs> to see uh, wanted to see how much you knew about each other, but don't worry because it's multiple choice. Oh, lovely! So, uh, Thank you. so one is three. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with uh, with you, Robert. Yes. So uh, Peter played which character in the eighty sitcom Ever Decreasing Circles? Well, well, oh, you can go straight away if you want to. Without well, yes, because choice. you mentioned it earlier, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> but I knew good. that. That's very good. It shows you have a good memory. <laughs> okay, Peter, how many children does Rob have? Is it A1, B2, or C3? I'm going to go for C3. Yes, all right. Yes. Well done. Let's see Peter was born in which city? Southampton, London, or Bristol? Oh, um, I don't know. Southampton, London, I'd say... I'd say London. Would you? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Holmes. Well done, Watson. See <laughs> the relationship we're, gelling here. No, we'll, be, we'll be doing a lot of that on the night. <laughs> Peter, what was the name of Robert's character in the 90s sitcom Outside Edge? Was it A. Roger, B. Rod, or C. Gordon? Roger. Yes, very well good. Oh. Um, which of these Shakespeare plays has Peter not acted in on stage? Hamlet, Richard III, Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. Well done. Very Fantastic. good. An extra point if you can tell. There's one other piece of information. You can you can get an extra point if you can tell me about one other piece of information. He may not have acted Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. But he might have directed it. Extra. Very good. good. Extra point. Oh, like that. <laughs> it's like award winning. Yes. yes. This is my agent as well as my colleague. <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> Peter Robert this year appeared as John Hughes in which soap? Was it A. Coronation Street, B. EastEnders or C. Emmerdale? Coronation Street. Yes. Oh, you're doing remarkably you well. You are doing so. Are you sure you don't know each other? Are you brothers? We're Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Secretly been married for years. <laughs> Peter won a BAFTA in 1972. What was it for? Best Supporting Actor, Best Newcomer, Best Director. In 1970, that was a BAFTA. Yeah. Um, BAFTA oh, gosh. I would say, uh, I don't know, uh, Actor, was it Perfect... Uh, that was eight. That was eight. That was, eight, that was eight, eighties, wasn't it? New, newcomer. Uh, uh, you're not going actor. for that one, are you? Newcomer. Best newcomer. <laughs> best newcomer. <laughs> I was yeah, a newcomer really. once. Best for the hireling. <laughs> Very good. Really. One more from you. Okay, Robert met his wife Amy on the set of which TV show? Was it Outside Edge, The Royal, or Heartbeat? Um, the Royal. Yes. I'm so impressed. That's so, I'm so impressed. <laughs> well impressed done. Well, well done. You, obviously, this is going to be a fantastic working relationship. Well, Holmes it, knows it, everything, of course. Absolutely. Yes. 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 <laughs> he will have de deducted that just by looking. I did. I, did, I sensed it. I yeah. just sort of, yeah, I got it. 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 Thank Thanks. you both for coming in uh, today you. and uh, uh, break a leg. I hope it's fantastic for you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Indeed. That's, That's great. great. Thank, Thank you.